you can do one of the main two things. You can increase the value of the property by adding upgrades and now the value is increased or you can pay off your property every month through your mortgage payment, making extra payments to the property. That's bringing your principal mortgage payment down while the value of the property is still staying the same. What's up everyone, I'm the Roommate Investor. Here we teach people how to build real estate portfolios using creative financing and real estate strategy. We teach the everyday person whether they wanna buy one property or multiple properties, the best strategies and financing techniques to do so. This sounds like something you will be interested in. Go ahead and hit that like button. Also, you can go to theroommateinvestor.com for more information. Today, we're gonna to talk about what is a cash out refinance and is this right for you? A cash out refinance is a way to pull money out of your home, to pull the equity out of your home. Equity is the difference between what you currently owe on the property and what the property is currently worth. There's a difference there. For example, if you buy a $100,000 property and it's worth $200,000, you have $100,000 in equity. Equity is applied to your net worth, but you can only access it through certain techniques. In this video, we're going to go over the technique of the cash out refinance. Okay, so we're going to talk about what the cash out refinance is. In order to build equity in your property, you can do one of the main two things. You can increase the value of the property by adding upgrades and now the value is increased, or you can pay off your property every month through your mortgage payment, making extra payments to the property. That's bringing your principal mortgage payment down while the value of the property is still staying the same. These are main, the two key ways to build equity in your property. So let's say you bought a property and now you have equity because you've been paying the mortgage for 10 years. So let's do an example. The value of your home is $200,000. You currently owe $120,000 on this balance. How much equity do we have on this property? If you said $80,000, you are correct. We have $80,000 of equity in this property. Now, remember, we don't have access to this $80,000. We have to go through the cash out refinance process. During this process, we go to a mortgage lender. We're applying for a new loan. We're applying for a new loan to pay off this current loan that we owe of $120,000. In this example, we need a new loan to pay off the old loan of $120,000. We contact a mortgage lender and tell them we're looking to do a refinance, but specifically a cash out refinance. Because this is a new loan, you have to go through the same process that you went through when you initially purchased the home. They're going to ask for your W-2s, your pay stubs, your bank statements. They want to know everything because you're getting a new loan. You can use the same lender that you used to purchase the property, or you can use a different lender. But no matter what you do, you're still applying for a new loan at the end of the day. You have to go through the same steps that it took when you got your original loan. So you turn in the documents, they say you're approved. So what's next? They will give you, depending on the market you're in, depending on how the state economy is at the time, you can get between 70 to 80% of the value of the property. Remember, the value is 200000 but we only owe $120,000. So in this example, we're going to take 80% of $200,000, which is a new check for $160,000. That's going to be your new loan amount. $160,000 is your new loan amount. Now remember, we only owe 
$120,000 on this property, but we're getting a new loan for $160,000. What's the difference there? $40,000. That means that $40,000 difference goes to you in the chat. The remaining $120,000 pays off the $120,000 that you initially owed. And now we have a new mortgage for $160,000. With this new mortgage comes most likely a higher interest rate than your previous because you're pulling cash out of the property. So that's higher risk to a lender because they're giving you, not only are they giving you more money, but they give you money in cash as well. This cash, you can do anything that you want with it. So to them, it's a higher risk. So due to this higher risk, you have a higher interest rate. Now, what can we do with this? You can do anything that you want. However, if you follow my teaching and my coaching, we're going to take this $40,000 to buy either more real estate property or to build onto existing real estate property that we already have, or as just reserves for future endeavors pertaining to real estate. If you like this video, just follow, like, and subscribe, and we'll have more content for you.